day 14 update for my whole 30. Okay, so I'm in that window where you're supposed to have dreams about food, and I've been really excited about it. <laughs> and it happened. I had a dream about food. I had a dream last night that I was stuffing my face as fast as I could unwrap them with Hershey's Kisses. I was just cramming them in there, and while I was eating them, I was thinking to myself, I, I need to slow down. Like, I'm not even tasting it. I'm just cramming it in. And it was one of those things, it was like this compulsion. Well, I'd started, so I need to finish the whole bag. And I remember thinking, damn it. <sighs> now I have to start all over. I, like, sabotaged myself. I've ruined it. I have to start over with my whole 30. It was really weird. And as I was eating them, I remember looking up. And there was, Yuma had grown so big that they were growing like a second level to our city. And so there was like, it was like a parking garage, but it was a whole other city on top. And there was this really, really sharp angle. It was like this weird V almost. And they had a huge fire truck and there was like an ambulance in front of it. And our friend is a, well, we have a couple of firefighter uh, medic friends, but one of them, I remember thinking about Adam and wondering if he was up there and how, how would they get up there? Like I can see how they drive down, but there's no way to get up. And so I was thinking, would they back the would they back the fire truck like up this long ramp? Like that would be really hard. So it was a really weird dream, and I'm kind of pissed that I didn't even get to enjoy my Hershey Kisses in the dream. But that's happened. So we'll see if I have any more. Yesterday was a hard day. Yesterday it started out good, um, but the weather was really overcast, and Yuma is it's like one of the very top sunniest cities. Like. We hold records for that. We are one of the city of cities on earth and one of the city of cities. We were in the sunniest cities on earth. Um, and so it was overcast all day yesterday and it was kind of stormy and drizzly, which was fun. I didn't feel depressed or anything, but I noticed that it made me want to eat. It made me want to drink all the like really delicious beverages and I wanted like caramel in my coffee and I really wanted to have some whiskey last night and I was just feeling off and floopy and it was really apparent how food fills that void for me. How when I'm feeling emotional or when I'm feeling off or when I'm feeling unsure, um, I want to eat. So, and I was really tempted last night. I wanted something sweet so bad. We were even at Walmart getting some like random things and they had like, like down the middle, like where you walk, they had all this like hostess stuff. They had like, I don't know, it must be April Fool's Day theme because everything had green frosting, which normally would not even appeal to me. But that like just processed fake sugary goodness was like calling my name and I was like no I wouldn't I couldn't even eat that even if I wasn't doing Whole30 because my body doesn't respond well to wheat so that was kind of weird um and towards the end of the day I really wanted something I really wanted something really bad and so I was looking in my I was looking in my pantry like what do I have do I have any cranberries I can have with walnuts let's be crazy and I actually have some um, Luna bars, not Luna bars, I have some Lara bars that are approved and they are in this like secret compartment in my, in the back of my car. <laughs> I put them there so that if I was out and about in a serious pinch, I would have something, but I didn't want to make it accessible because the whole point of the Whole30 is that you're breaking up with those negative food habits. Um, and so I got out the book and I was reading through it like, come on, speak to me Whole30, tell me what I need to hear. And it said in there that, you know, you've got to be mindful of those things. Like it's not okay it's not Whole30 compliant to still have that sweet urge and go and have something else because really you're just substituting healthy food for maybe a less healthy food and it's not breaking the habit. It's not breaking the mental, the pattern. So I held strong. I had some more water and tea. Oh yeah. And I went to bed because really I was just tired. I was feeling kind of off and weird and I just needed to go to bed. So I did. And then I had my Hershey's Kiss dream. So hey, that's a win. Uh, another thing that I made ratatouille last night and that was really good. I made extra so that I could fold it in with my scrambled eggs today, which sounds kind of funky, but it was delicious. So I had that for my big breakfast meal and then I'm having my Shakeology for my lunch. Um, and I am grateful for that for sure with all those superfoods and adaptogens in there. The other thing, my other aha, um, on day 14, I think I said last week I was like a third of the way there. Clearly math is not my strong suit. <laughs> I'm almost halfway there, almost with the first 30 days. But I'm realizing I'm eating too much fruit. I was pretty good for week one. Week two, I noticed I was definitely having more fruit to kind of like compensate for those sweet cravings. Again, it's breaking the habit. I'm not a dog. I shouldn't be rewarding myself with food. So this next week, I'm going to meal plan here shortly. And I'm going to scale back the amount of sugar and even natural sugar that I'm having. So that's my update. It's definitely been interesting. We will see what tonight brings. Hopefully, I'll have some more food dreams. <laughs>